Hi everyone and welcome to our daily tarot reading. This is for Saturday the 16th of July. I'm going to use the in-between tarot. So let's see what it is we need to hear today. Let's get all these cards out. Okay, so what messages do we need to hear today? Saturday the 16th of July. I can see a little teddy bear. Not really sure why or what that symbolizes, but I can just see like a little teddy bear, maybe representing comfort, childhood, nostalgia. But let's have a look. So, what do we need to hear today? Oh, there we go. We've got the Four of Swords. So, the Four of Swords in this deck is between the Four and the Five of Swords. So, this is indicating that basically you can't rest anymore it feels like there's something here which needs you to to really like step up and go um perhaps you've been feeling like you need to spend a lot of time just like resting and recovering your energy and maybe that's for a very good reason maybe there is something coming up here which is going to explain why you've been protecting your energy um you know the four of swords in this deck is like it's like a big wake-up call so there is definitely something here that you're being called to do, some kind of action you need to take. Um, I almost feel like people are asking you to join them. It's like um, people are asking you to follow them, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, you need to, I don't know, like you, you need to join forces. Um... So what I'm really getting is that you have been resting and recovering, really trying to like meditate on your desires and then someone's coming towards you being like, hey, wake up, come with me. And it's almost you're like, you're like, what? Where are we going? Like, why? But someone definitely wants to, to like have you as part of their group. We've got the Queen of Cups here, bridging the gap between the Queen and the King of Cups. Um... So this could be like a romantic thing or it could just be something where this is like, I'm getting like blood brothers, almost like you and this person or these people have some kind of like shared mission. Um, that's how it feels. It feels like you're all meant to do something together. So this is someone who knows that they are meant to, um, they are meant to be working with you in some way. You're meant to be collaborating on something. And the Queen of Cups, it's like you're going to be responsible for something. Um, I mean, this could be a partnership between the Queen and the King of Cups. So it could be like a romantic or business partnership, but, um, I feel there's more than one person involved here, like, sorry, more than two, like, one extra. There's a few people involved, like, a few of you are really being pulled together to do something big, and it's like you are responsible for starting something, you're responsible for um, creating something with some very special people. Yeah, page of coins. So this is a new idea, something which is going to grow and grow and grow, but it definitely, like, it needs... It needs nurturing. The, the page and the knight of coins, this is, it's like planning before you take action. It's like, you know, planning before you make something happen. Um, so this is going to be like a business idea or like an expansion. This is going to be something that I feel you work on with a group of people. Um... It's almost like an introduction to a new work environment or to some kind of like expansion of your career in some way. You could also be doing this for hot for like a hobby, um, but something which feels like it fulfills your life purpose. So what is it that you are feeling called to do? What is it that you feel um, guided towards? And be mindful of who you feel encouraged to connect with. Because um, either someone's coming to you and being like, hey, wake up, come with me. Or you're going to someone else and being like, come and join what I'm doing. So whichever way round it is, there is this like partnership, this collaboration taking place. And like I said, I feel like all of you are going to be very responsible um, for bringing something to life like all of you are working together to bring something to fruition here 
um, and with that page of coins, like I said, I mean, you can see there's other people working in the background here. So you're not going to be working solo. You may have one aspect that you do a little bit on your own, but ultimately there's a few other people here in the background who are going to be um, working with you, like joining forces. That's it. Joining forces. That's it. You're joining forces with people. Let's see why. Interesting, the Five of Swords. This comes straight after the Four of Swords, obviously. Now, the Five of Swords bridges the gap between the Five and the Six of Swords. You can see this figure rowing off into the distance. Um, so this is about... <sighs> This, this joining forces is because all of you can achieve more together. It's because all of you basically can dream bigger and make things happen when you're working together. Um, that five of swords is like deciding to escape something, deciding to leave a situation. So it may be that you're joining forces because one or all of you here want to get out of a current situation and start creating something bigger and better. You know, that Five of Swords is definitely confirming that you're all moving forward together and exploring something new. So where you are or where they are right now, whoever this person is, um, it's not a good environment. It feels like this is a bit of a battlefield. It's not where they want to be. So this person is saying, like, you know what? I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to the other side. I do not want to be here a moment longer as soon as you put that out there, bam, a group of you are like magnetized together to do something, to make something happen. This is exciting. This is, um, this feels like it could go somewhere. It feels like this group of people are going to be making something long lasting together. We've got the fool and we've got the world, the start and the beginning. Wow. You see how this is the start of everything. This is a new beginning with that full card. This is definitely taking a risk. This requires, you know, a group of people to take a risk here, almost like leap into the unknown, um, let go of what stability or security they have and just take that chance. So this group of people are all going to be like taking a chance and I really do see that they're, with the world card, this is so successful. The world is like major success, major completion here. Um, it's almost like with the children, it's almost as if you are doing something for the next generation. You are doing something which the next generation is going to benefit from or enjoy. Um, but that full card is 100% a few people like just taking a really big chance on something. And it feels very brave. This feels like you're leaving your comfort zones altogether, taking that leap of faith onto, into the unknown. Um, and the world is showing me how protected this whole situation is. You know, this group of people have, like, this whole vision of, like, a new life together. Um, ready to to kind of, like, change history, to make history. You know, this group of people are going to put the effort in to do something which others can enjoy. Um, something which is going to be a success, like, long term, further down the line. And then we have the Page of Cups. So another page, another new beginning. So the Page of Cups bridges the gap between the Page and the Knight of Cups. Um, I, I get like this growing up vibe, like this group of people are going to be like growing together. I'm really doing something which feels like it's It's for helping the next generation. I keep being drawn back to children. I keep being brought back to like, I feel like this is for, for kids. Um, maybe like your own inner children. It could be that this, what you're going to do is what your inner children want you to do. 
But the Page of Cups, this is like losing your childhood innocence and growing up. Um, let me clarify this Page of Cups. The Magician. So it's this Page of Cups is someone who is realizing their skills, realizing their their place in the world. So maybe this isn't necessarily about kids, but it could be. Perhaps this is about this group of people realizing their purpose and really taking taking charge of their destiny. Um, you know creating something together which feels empowering I do still feel like this is to help the next generation or the, gr the group of you are going to be doing something for others to, for others to benefit from or enjoy but the magician is a really powerful card the magician bridges the gap between the magician and the high priestess um that there's some kind of like sacred ritual that I feel you would benefit from but the magician is like showing you how sacred this group of people and this work is you'll be doing some kind of sacred work and then we've got the two of cups so this sacred work definitely involves a partnership um two or more people who are going to be working together to do something here and um, the two of cups in this in this deck is literally joining with others so your next sacred ritual is going to be joining with others to bring something to life this magician has his table prepared he is ready to literally manifest something on this table in front of him so I can't wait to look into more of this so it's like you or the people you're working with have this clear vision you are all aligned and focused on bringing something to life putting something on the table for others to enjoy to feast upon so guys I'm going to keep going the extended because I want to see what on earth it is that you guys are putting on the table um and just see where this is going and like what what the future holds here so do join me on my patreon site sacredspace.co.uk for the rest of today's reading but I hope you've enjoyed this so far and don't forget by joining my Patreon and becoming a member, you get access to yoga, you get access to meditations, to gong baths, successful this feels. Um, it's almost like you've had difficulties and challenges behind you and you're overcoming that, like you're learning from... For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolved tier for full access to the Sacred Space site.